Hello, this is Professor Emily Blank, and today we're going to uh, talk about a brand new concept for you, historiography. Historiography is the history of writing history. And um, we're, it's a really important concept, and it's really important for you writing a good research paper. So I'm going to tell you about it in two videos. The first one is going to explain historiography, and the second one is going to give you sort of the history of history. So um, first, um, let me show this very short video. It's very fun and accessible and gives a really brief and clear view of what historiography is. It comes from the University of South Florida. So before we talk about historiography, whatever that is, we have to ask ourselves, what is history? Well, it seems like there could be at least two main kinds of answers here. First, we could say, well, history is the perfect knowledge of the past. Like, here's ancient Rome, and as time goes on, time goes on, time goes on, it gets to me. And I can say, oh, I know what happened in ancient Rome because I, I just know it. That's just how it happened. I can have this perfect, clear view of how things used to be. Well, that's a little eh, too simplistic. What if instead we can Considered the sources of our knowledge. Again, ancient Rome happened. That was the event. But there was this one guy who had a perspective on a single part of that ancient Roman scene. And then later on in history, someone else said, you know what, I want to talk about a different perspective of that same historical event. And someone else said, I want to color the whole thing totally differently. That seems a little more complex, as if history were seen through the window of the different perspectives that we have. So, if we ask ourselves then, what is historiography, we would say the study of historical perspectives, not necessarily the historical events themselves. So if we go back to that timeline, there's that one event, and then here's at least three different perspectives. The historiographer would say, I want to ask myself about this perspective, not the event. I want to say, why do they focus on that one specific angle? And then later on in history, why do these other people tend to focus on this other angle? And then why do these other people later on in history focus on this other angle? Do the historiographers focus on the event? Well, maybe a little bit, but it's not the focus of their study. So, say I'm writing historiography, and I start writing this essay, and it's all about the event, it's all about how cool the old time stuff is. No way! That's not historiography! But, if I'm writing, and I start thinking about the perspectives, I start thinking about the different views people have had on the event, or the historical figure, or whatever, and I start asking myself, why did people have these different interpretations? That is historiography. This second video depicts why historiography is important in writing your history paper. Um, it's written by the cynical historian and explains how to read secondary sources, how to evaluate them, and how to put them into your paper. And we'll, we'll meet up again after that. History has to be written by someone, right? But how do we write about the writers? Or in other words, who watches the watchmen? Hey, Cypher here. Historiography plays an important role in history research. Historians have to do quite a few things when they're doing their research, but first and foremost, they have to read the historiography. Simply put, historiography is the history of history. On most subjects, someone has already written a history on it. And on a lot of them, a whole lot of historians have written on it. If anyone plans to contribute something new, Part of doing your due diligence in research is finding what everyone else has said before you. This serves a dual purpose. One, you are making sure that you're not repeating any other historians, and two, you're finding out what everybody else is using as sources. All the previous literature on a subject is called the historiography. When writing a new work of history, whether it's a monograph or an article, a historian is expected to include at least a paragraph on the historiography of their subject. And that is also to explain how their work is placed within that historiography. Because of this historiographical requirement, historians have to read a lot. Probably more than any other profession, given that that's only half of their research. Then they have to move on to primary sources. But it does show how anybody can write history, and it gives a path of study. When I've written for classes or journals, I always begin my research with the historiography. I think of it as working from the outside in. It's a good method. 
In a perfect world using this method, you'd begin by reading the most recent work of history, working back chronologically, until you're reading the oldest work of history on the subject. Of course, as you're working backwards, you almost always serendipitously run into other historians. But that's okay though. Trust me, we all do that. After having read all of that, you would be quite a formidable expert on your given subject. That's why we do historiography. Once you've read the historiography, then you start reading the primary sources. I've already explained the difference between primary and secondary sources, and I'll be explaining how you should read primary sources in other videos. Be sure to check it out and subscribe while you're at it. I'll see you next time. So now, after watching those two videos, I think you'll have a basic understanding of what historiography is, why it's important to put in your paper. In the next video, I'll demonstrate this by giving you a brief overview of the history of history. Thank you.